Hi, my name is Andrea Rosendo, and I'm a professor in robotics and artificial intelligence in Shanghai Tech University, and I'm here to present our latest achievements in the preparation for the AI Challenge 2019. So initially, I would like to talk about our decision of having the LiDAR in the main turret. So our LiDAR is installed upside down so that we can have a better protection. And also, uh, as it is upside down, we have to mirror the signals when we are doing LiDAR. And uh, the main reason for the LiDAR to be upside down is so that when we have our chassis rotating, the signal is not being affected. So we can still do localization without worrying with uh, rotational transformation. Since we have a chassis that is capable of rotating while the LiDAR is doing localization without rotations, we decided to adopt something called gyro mode. With the gyro mode, we are capable of shoot while we are moving our body. And of course, for planning, since we need the signal from odometry, we, can, we still have the right signal because even though the, the turret is rotating, the odometry from the wheels, they are still happening through a common trigonometric transformation for the X and for the Y direction. Although the localization was a very, a quite simple problem, for the planning part, we noticed there was a fight between the original planning that was in the RoboRTS and the planning that we need to take in, in consideration. For that, we needed to change the RoboRTS planning to take in consideration not the chassis orientation, but the turret orientation using the IMU that is inside the development board at the turret. Our last topic is going to be the Bayesian reinforcement learning, which is mainly the reason why we named our team Bayesian Bot. And uh, we decided not to, in this video, we decided not to talk about the topics that we already talked about in the video for DJI. But in here, I wanted to explain what are the advantages of using a Bayesian reinforcement learning. Uh, in our experience, when we have uh, robots learning how to behave, uh, we work with robots capable of walking, we work with manipulators, and we notice that every time we use simulations, we have problems with the transferability between the simulation and the real world. What our Bayesian reinforcement learning does is to take into account the previous iterations and create a probabilistic model of those iterations. In our case, we're using a Bayesian neural network to create this probabilistic model, and we use this probabilistic model to infer what next trials are going to be trials that are going to converge faster. And this is, uh, if you stop to think about it, this is closer to the way that humans learn. When you have to perform a task that you have never performed before, you first, you try to do something simple, but then you try to predict what changes you should have on your trial so that you can try a new one. This is very different than what deep learning does, because deep learning, you would try many, many trials and you would do back propagation to try to find the best one. But in our approach, we find out that with just a few trials, we can succeed. Well, that's it for now. Uh, in case you're interested in having a match between our Bayesian bot team and your team, uh, we invite teams to come to our arena to have a two versus two, or we can also travel to your city and uh, have a match there. Thanks for watching.